what is up you guys back here and I want to talk about UFC fight night um Surugan taking on Tai to Ivasa uh co-main event was Robert Whitaker versus Marvin Vittori make sure to tune in later tonight um to see my breakdown of that fight as well um yeah man make sure to please hit the subscribe ring that bell to get all notifications and uh yeah without any further ado um so yeah man the main event was awesome you know, a lot of heart shown by both guys. Um, you know, Surugan, I think he did what he had to do. He did what I thought he was going to do in this fight. Fight on the outside. Be long. You know, don't really try not to let Tuivasa really get in there and close the distance to get hit with those big power punches that he has. Um, you know, but that's, that's it's tough. When it comes to heavyweights, man, rather, you know, big boy or muscle-bound boy, like, you know, one shot can change the fight. And um, for Tuivasa, I, I feel like when he was able to close the distance a little bit and get in there and get good shots to land, good leg kicks from both guys as well. Um, but when he was able to close that distance, that's when he had better success. And for Surugan, he was doing, he was picking, picking and choosing his shots from the outside, looking good, doing it as well. Um, you know, clinched up a little bit, but that first round, that's pretty much how that first round went. Surugan controlling the range and distance in that fight in the round and um, picking him apart with late kicks and here and there. Um, round two starts, pretty much kind of similar, but Tuivasa kind of picks up the pace. You know, he, he's down around, he needs to do a little bit more um, of something. You know, um, you know, getting to these exchanges, you know, is getting a little closer, closer and closer. And then, bam, he lands a really good shot. Um, pretty good, like, overhook, overhand, excuse me, um, on the top of Surugan. Surugan drops, you know, and Ty Tuivasa, of course, jumps on him, trying to get that finish, you know, make the upset happen in Paris, France with their fighter. But, you know, Surugan showing his heart and determination to get back up and, and you know, keep fighting and get, get, the, uh, get the victory. But in those exchanges, when he did get back up, he landed a beautiful shot to the body. And and from there, that's when I feel like the fight changed. Um, you know, he was already peppering shots to the body a couple of times hard in the first round with a good explosive relay roundhouse kicks. Um, but in round two, after, you know, especially since Ty Tuivasa was going for the finish when he got rocked like that, he got, Ty got hit to the body and kind of, he didn't fold, but it looked like he was going to. And then, you know, Surgon was just throwing shots at the body repetitively. Um, you know, it could have been stopped. It looked like it could have, you know, but I think Ty did a good job of, you know, not folding to the floor. Because I'm pretty sure if he would have fell to the floor, you know, all it would have needed is like a couple more big shots to end it right there. But, you know, Ty, even in the middle exchange of Surgon throwing body shots, he got clipped again with a beautiful hook in round number two. Um... You know, and it's and just you know, Ty showing his heart in that round as well. You know, but I mean, Gon kind of like got the better of him later towards the ending of the round. You know, but you know, you can say that it was one one going into the third, and um, going into the third, you know, the, the body of Ty already hurt. You know, um, so that was definitely a target there for for Gon, um, and it was just like in round three, you know continuing with the body shots that he hurt him in round number two. You know, Ty tried his best, tried to get, you know, clipped him a couple of times, but not much doing there. You know, I feel like once your your body hurts like that after a while, it's, you know, it takes a lot of, out of your gas tank, especially you being a, like, a big boy like Ty Tuivasa is, you know. um, But Ty, man, showed his heart in the middle of the second and in the third round, you know, until eventually Surugan landed like a beautiful... Like, uppercut hook, you know, rocking pretty bad. He was doing the, the chicken dance, as we call it. Uh, a couple of shots more and, you know, ended up dropping him and a couple of more shots and ended up stopping the fight. And uh, rightfully so, I don't think Ty Tuivasa was... Uh, I know eventually he was about to go down. It, it wasn't like he, you know... I mean, he was trying, but, you know, he was hurt that... He was hurt really bad in that exchange in round number three. And now... With the gone getting the victory in Paris, France, you know, first event there, and the crowd was just absolutely nuts. 
you know, super loud. It, it was amazing. Um, you know, Sir Ground wants that title shot, and I, and I think he should get it. You know, um, depending on what you know Francis Ngannou is doing, you know, if he's gonna come back or when he's able to come back, you know, get that fight rolling or just do another interim title. He's not gonna come back anytime soon. You know, or you know, it's just hard now just for Ngannou being out due to injury. Um, I really hope um, they can get that second fight happening or get Cyril Gaon to fight somebody else, I guess. You know, but I mean, Gaon is number one heavyweight in the world right now. So, like, him fighting somebody else, I don't really know about that. You know, I mean, to stay active, I would, you know. But then if I get caught in between that two and, you know, somebody else stops me, then that title opportunity is probably going to go down the drain. So, if I was Gaon, I will Either wait for Francis Ngannou or see if Dana White will do a interim title fight again, you know, for him to, to win the interim title. And then when Ngannou's ready to fight. For Taitu Ivasa, had great heart, great determination. I feel like if he put in put in that a little bit more work when it comes to, like, his physical attributes, you know, his, his cardio and, and all that stuff, man. I, if he can just work on that a little bit more, I think he'll be... A really good heavyweight. I think he is a good heavyweight, you know. But I, I think for him tonight, I think the range and distance and the body shots that Cyril Gaon was doing played the big dividends to the fight. And uh, yeah, man, guys, if you guys liked the video, make sure to throw those thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Uh, leave those comments down in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.